Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to um, do a really small haul. It is just a few items that I picked up the last um, few days. And the one place that I went to yesterday was uh, Long's. And I went in there for something else. And I can't even remember now what exactly. But of course, whenever, whenever I'm in any drugstore, I'll kind of just browse through the cosmetic section and I saw a display for Sally Hansen's new natural beauty line I think it's called natural beauty inspired by Carmendy and Carmendy is the makeup artist that is featured on uh, what not to wear she's a really um, a good makeup artist. Um, I think she's very talented. And what drew me to the um, products were the possibility that they were um, paraben free. And I looked through, I think, almost all of the products, and I don't think any of them had parabens. Um, I'm not quite sure. I only bought a couple of things. One was their luminous matte pressed powder and this color is neutralizer and so that is what it opens up and then there's a mirror and then it comes with this sponge but I have just a regular powder puff in there because that's kind of what I like to use when I'm um, using pressed powder. So this product was $11.99, um, so a pretty good price. I haven't been able to find um, a pressed powder um, that doesn't contain parabens, so um, I was kind of happy to, um, to see something like this. And it's a really good, um, I think it's a really good blot powder as well. Um, again, the color is neutralizer, so it is, I think, just one of those colors that almost anyone can use when they're doing touch-ups. And um, I actually like to use it after I put on my primer. I like to dust a little bit of this um, on my face before I do my mineral um, foundation. So. Um, again, it was eleven ninety nine, and then I found um, a mascara. This is what the package looks like. And this is the mascara. It is called their Lift and Define Mascara in Jet Black. And this is what the brush looks like. And I'm actually really loving this mascara. Um, I think because my eyelashes to begin with are, um, or maybe it's my eyes that are small, but the size of this brush is just perfect. Um, it's just, it's really thin if you can kind of compare that to some of the other um, mascaras out there so it works perfectly on my lashes um, it's not a, a waterproof formula um, so I'll probably have to um, wear some type of um, shellac type of um, product over it if I want to wear it to like the wedding this weekend um, but I really like it the uh, price of the mascara $7.99 and so the two together I spent um, $20 which again I don't think is bad for a mascara and a powder so that's what I got at Long's and the other place that I went to a few days ago was Sephora and I went in to pick up another um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and this color is Yiyo and it's a white color 
but it's very, very shimmery. And I like using this in my, like, um, this area, my, my tear duct area, um, and the inner part of my waterline. I think it works really, really well. Um, and this was $16. $16. Again, that's what it looks like. And then the last thing that I bought was the ID Weather Everything um, liner sealer from Bare Essentials. Um, I really love the product Shellac from Benefit. That's what I have been using, um, you know, for many years now. And this this product, however, is um, a lot cheaper, and it works very similar. Um, in the with the Shellac, it comes with you know the different little brushes. So this one is more of um, you pour liquid into, um, it comes with this little palette thingy. And you would put like a few drops in here and then um, dip your brush like, let's see here, like maybe a brush like this. And you would use your um, mineral eyeshadow or mineral liner to um, kind of dip that into the, the product, the wet product, and that way it goes on like a um, long-wearing eyeliner. Uh, what I, I like to use it just like the way that I use the shellac, which is I put on my eyeliner on first, and then I just put a, a few drops of this into here, and then I dip a brush into it, and then I just kind of like, you know, go over a little bit on um, top of where I put my eyeliner, and it stays really, really good. Uh, the downside um, really is that there are parabens in this product, so uh, this is a product that this is probably the only product that I use that has parabens, um, and I use it very sparingly. Um, I only use it when I know I want my, you know, mascara and my eyeliner to just be foolproof and not um, take any chances. I have pretty good luck with, um, you know, most of my um, gel um, eyeliners and, like, uh, the fluid line. Um, but again, for like the wedding coming up this Saturday, I don't want to take any chances. So I'll be using this on the bride as well. And this product was $18, I believe. Yeah, it's $18. And the shellac is $30. So it's a lot cheaper. And it basically, um works the same. It, do, it does the same thing for me, at least. So um, so that's my haul. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to um, leave, a, leave a comment below or send a message and um, I'll get back to you guys. So um, I hope you guys are having a good start of the week. It's Monday and um, I hope everybody had a really um, good weekend as well. I had a really good weekend. And I will um, see you guys really soon. So um, take care, guys, and have a great, a great rest of the day. Bye.